What's up, everybody? This is Evie. I love face molds, sunshine. And today is face mold Friday. <laughs> yes, it is face mold Friday today. And today I have um, some different diverse dolls here that all share the same face mold. Okay. So which face mold are we talking about today? We are talking about the chambray face mold, okay? It is also known as Alec in the doll world. I'm choosing this face mold today because it is one of my absolute favorite face molds. It's not, it's not number one on my list whatsoever but it is in the top 10 of my favorite face molds. Therefore, um, I thought this would be a good Friday to discuss this beautiful face mold. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the doll that started this chambray face mold, okay? This is a doll that started this face mold off. I think everybody, when she first came out, wanted to call her Amber Rose because she does resemble her. She does resemble her. But I believe she was Barbie Fashionista's number 22. They called um, Chic and Chambre. Okay. And she was one of the first dolls that kind of had, like, um, in the Fashionista's line, that had this um, flocked wonderful flocked platinum blonde hair. Uh, she's really, really cute. She kind of reminds me of Jada Pinkett in, um, what was that movie called? Demon Knight. <laughs> Let me know if you guys know about Demon Knight in the comments below. I think Jada was still really young when she did that movie, but this doll kind of reminds me of her in that. And the face mold is called Chambre or Alec. Okay, I'm glad you guys are here for this second episode in this series that I have that I'm doing called Face Mold Friday. So Dolly Tribe, what's up? How y'all doing? How y'all been? Um, let me know some suggestions in the comments below if you want me to keep this going. Uh, I think I'm going to kind of keep it going anyway just because I enjoy doing it because I'm obsessed with face molds. So I'll probably keep this up. But you guys let me know what you think about it in general, okay? Let me know how much you love face molds. Even put down what is your favorite face mold in the comments below. So this is a doll that started off all of the rest of these dolls having this face mold. And this face mold is 2016. Excuse me. Let's see if you can see it. The date here, 2016 Mattel. She did not come on a curvy body. I believe she came on like a petite or a standard size Barbie body. But I put her on this um, Barbie style by Marnie, Marnie Cinefante doll um, body because I like her in this body. <laughs> All right. Um, things that I like about this face mold, I'm just going to say up front and sorry about the glare. I like the nose. I'm crazy about the nose. I kind of like that the cheekbones are set on the face that they are. Um, this doll also gives a hint of a dimple on, on her face on each side of her, uh, cheeks there. It gives a hint of dimple there. Kind of reminds me of... Um, a more watered-down version of Lauren London's dimples. <laughs> if you know who I'm talking about. Um, she has a big, wide, pretty smile. And I like she has a bulb on her nose. I have a bulb nose, so I tend to like dolls that have bulb noses. Um, she doesn't really have an indentation, a deep indentation in her eye like a lot of dolls do. Um... So that's not something that you can really like look at like the previous mold that we looked at uh, a couple of weeks ago, the Mbili face mold. 
she doesn't really have those eye lines but she kind of the way they the facial screening they did on this one you can kind of you can just see some ooh, excuse me some shadows there uh surrounding the nose but isn't this just a cute face mold and the ears are kind of small and are the ears small on all of them yeah <laughs> They're the same face mold, so of course they have small ears. They have really small ears. Let's see. Does the Mbili face mold have small ears like that? Where's one of my dolls for that? Here is Kara. Excuse me, I've taken some clothes off of Kara, so... Um, well, they... Yeah, she has smaller ears than the Mbili face mold dolls. Um, this doll has really small ears. It's kind of... It's kind of weird, but that's another way you can know. I think this doll probably has the smallest ears of any face mold. I don't know that to be absolutely true, but I'm pretty sure that she has a very small ear. <laughs> so let's start. Every doll that I pick up is going to be compared to this one who started it all. So which one do I want to start with, y'all? Hmm. Let's start with one of our twins. I kind of call them twins because they look very similar. <laughs> so let's start with this girl. She's the Barbie I Can Be Anything Boxer doll. I put her on a made to move body though. So if she doesn't look exactly the same to you, that's probably why. All right, let's put these girls together. You see them? Here we go. None of them have the pixelated face, so that's good. But can you tell that they're the same face mold? Can you tell it? You see how they screened her differently? I love this girl's eyebrows. I love darker. The darker the eyebrow, the better I like it. And I like the lip color they gave her as well. She has a more natural hair texture, which is really cute. And there goes those small ears. <laughs> those small ears and she has a hint of a dimple on her face can you tell like the way the shadow hits like right on this side makes it look like a dimple and they both kind of have that and i love it i absolutely love it about this these face molds right here mm Hmm. so cute the next doll i'm gonna take up is one you guys have seen recently on my channel it is the Barbie made to move recent yoga wave of dolls. She also has a chambray, chambray face mold. This doll right here, I put her on the over the moon girl's body. Changa, I put her on her body. I remember the body swap I did a week or so ago. They have the same face mold as well. Look at that. See how the difference looks? Let's take a, a look like this. I like how the nose kind of turns up right on the end. And each doll has that. And see how they look different with their screenings and then their skin tones can make them look like a totally different doll. But they kind of look similar, right? Because their facial structure is the same. And let's take a look at these small ears on this doll. <laughs> See how small her ears are? She has teeny tiny ears. I think it's super cute. So let's one last time take a look at these guys together. All it takes is for them to use a different style of eyebrow different shape, different eye color. But most of these girls, oh, excuse me, most of these girls do have pink lips, so that doesn't change very much. And then whatever this little thing is called, I guess the Cupid's bow type of thing, that's very noticeable on on this face mold. So that's so cute. All they need to do is put different hair textures, different skin tones, and things like this, and then you start getting a totally different doll. 
who's the next one we want to take a look at? Let's take a look at Miss Beyonce here. I call this doll Beyonce. She's a fashionista um, from what, two years ago now, I think? A year ago, two years ago. I'll put her fashionista number up in the video here. Here she is, along with Miss Chic and Chambray, fashionista 22. This looks like a totally different doll, doesn't it? <laughs> she looks completely different. She has a different, um, she has a more cherry red lip. Her hair is a different color. It's a darker blondy, sandy brown type of color. Her eyes are made slightly smaller. But that nose is still the same, honey, and those ears are still small. <laughs> they are still small. Mm-hmm. And that's how you can tell that you have this face mode. And then it kind of gives the illusion of there's dimples on their face. On the sides of their mouths. Along their jaw jawline. And that's what I think the magic of this face mold is. Is that it gives the look of dimples because their um, jawline is something right in here about it. Makes it really, really cute. And you can put the face mold on a standard Barbie, you can put it on a curvy Barbie and they can make them look similar and they can make them look very different. And that's what's beautiful about this face mold. So here she is, this fashionista. And she's really cute. I think her original size was a tall. She was tall, but she's super duper cute. All right. Let's take a look at Viola here. You guys have seen her on my Instagram page not that long ago, probably a couple of weeks ago or so. Um, this doll is a Crayola, one of like the Crayola dolls. Um, I think the clothes were color changed and she was scented. She came with a couple of um, fruit, um, fruit themed purses and stuff like that. She's really cute. She also has the chambray face mold. You see how the hair and everything just changes how they look. But the nose is still the same. The ears are teeny tiny. Just different skin tones and different eye colors. And it's really, it makes for a really beautiful doll. You see that nose though? There's that button nose. There's that little Cupid's bow thing. And there's that like little kind of dimple or indention on the side of her face. It's such a beautiful face mold. I love the smile. It's a very wholesome, genuine type of smile. Girl next door look. So there's Viola showing a different way the face mold can be designed and screened. This doll, I got her like a year or two ago and she still scented. Her hair smells like strawberries. The next doll to be compared to our fashionista 22, Miss Chambray, is going to be this doll here. She was also a fashionista. I changed her and put her on the WWE doll, Lana. I put her on Lana's body. And then I took Lana's hands. <laughs> I did a real Frankenstein job here. Um, I took Lana's hands and took them off and put them on a made to move doll. And then I put the made to move doll's hands on this and I realized when I was doing it that this hand is shorter than this one. So there's something that you really didn't ask for in this video that you got to look at. Mattel made a very bad mistake cutting this girl's hand off. So now I just make it like she just had a, like she was born with the deformity or something. Um, and that makes the character all the more interesting to me. But anyway, enough with that story. Let's take a look at these face molds here. There we go. Completely different skin tone. She has purple hair. Still got them pink lips though. <laughs> and the eyebrows aren't too different. They are, but they aren't. She has blue eyes, a very pinky skin tone. And see, she has a little indentation down here on her face. 
and on this side I really like that so much character very much so much character she doesn't have a sharp chin line but it still gives her a nice full face very beautiful doll and once again these dolls have very tiny ears the dolls that had his face mole have very like teddy bear like ears <laughs> and look at the side of that face look at that profile gorgeous and I know um, someone made a comment about them making the lips and then like the lipstick line like line align correctly and most of these dolls have that most of them have that it's lined up very well can you see it her eyes are a bit wonky but just look at the lips <laughs> gonna get real close can you see it this doll's lipstick is lined up real good on her face most of these are i just think this girl kind of got a bad deal <laughs> all right we have four more dolls to go so just hang in there with me okay is khadija i've been photographing her recently as well about a couple of months ago or so i photographed her and a lot of people thought it was a my froggy stuff <laughs> picture but it was my picture um this one has the pixelated screening but see how similar they look her eyes are much bigger on this fashionista right here she's fashionista 144 i can tell you that that was one of the first dolls i view i did a review on on my channel when it started last year look how cute she is she's got the braided hair and the baby hairs and it all just lends to it looking like a totally different doll face and they even made her smile look shorter if that's possible see she looks like she has a way bigger smile and they just kind of you can tell they kind of stopped a little bit shorter than they usually do with the um with the lipstick but it's beautiful her blushing is beautiful both of them have nice blushing on their face and there goes that nose turned up this is the same face mold that my froggy stuff uses for her mini me and it's a really good one she chose a really good one all right and see she has earrings on and things like that when when you get a face mold and you put earrings on a doll or some kind of deal for her hair or something it really does make the doll look completely different that's just a recurring theme the next doll i'd like to look at is one that barbie space discovery african-american doll i don't even know if they put out a white doll version of this but i'm sure they did so this is barbie space discovery doll with miss chic and sean bray right here i love how they did the space discovery girl's eyebrows they made them longer and thicker and then they kind of narrowed her eyes down and gave her a smaller smile like they did fashionista 144. see this one her lipstick goes all the way out to that crease and a little bit beyond it if you can see it with this doll they kind of stopped short kind of messed her up a little bit too but they kind of stopped short so it looks like her smile is is shorter and I think they went further down with the lip too to make her lips look kind of thicker than Chambray's lips and she's in a darker skin tone she has curly hair and it just kind of sets the face up differently I just love that Got a nice size forehead. Got them little teddy bear ears. <laughs> so this doll is really cute. Let's take a look at the side. See that nose turning up? Very beautiful faces. 
I love looking at dog face molds. I could do it all day. <laughs> and then the next one we're going to look at here is also a Barbie fashionista. I don't remember her fashionista number. I just remember how cute she is. This doll, I call her Geneva. Some of my dolls are named and some of them aren't. She's a fashionista. She's really cute. Here is Chambray with this fashionista. Different face mold. Her eyes are made more of a Asian-like look shape to them. Her eyebrows are shorter. Still got that pink though. I, don't, I think they try not to put too crazy of a color on these dolls because they they have such a wide smile. <laughs> so they usually try to put really neutral colors on the lips, which makes a lot of sense, you know. I think even one of the um, Olympics dolls, the skater or whatever, has this face mold. See, she has earrings on making her face look longer, in my opinion. And her hair is longer and all of that and different skin tone so of course you're gonna look slightly different and I just love it I just love it okay I'm just trying to see how their faces look you know me I like distorting their faces and seeing how they look because that also helps me recognize the face molds you can see right into those nostrils, can't you? <laughs> right into those nostrils. It's a gorgeous face mold. I'm going to be saying that this whole, throughout the duration of this video, just a beautiful face mold. And you can style it up any way that you choose. I know some of you guys are not a fan of um, dolls with big tooth grins. <laughs> But um, I love smiling dolls. Um, I don't find them too creepy or anything like that just because they look friendly, you know? They look like people that I'm friends with. They look like nice people that I engage with in a store or while I'm out and about and you can hold a conversation with them. So I love this face mold and I love the smiles. It just makes them look super, super duper friendly and I like that. The last doll we're gonna look at here and compare is a Barbie Dreamtopia doll. She was a mermaid, I believe. Pretty sure she was a mermaid. And I took her head off and I just put it on a, a pivotal articulated body here. And her name is Zara. So here is Zara with Miss Chambray. She has normal painted screening, big beautiful pink lips, kind of straight eyebrows that kind of go at a slant. Nice brown, light brown eyes and that gorgeous multi-pink hair. Let's see if you can see the hair. See that multi-pink hair? Oh, she's gorgeous. <laughs> Let's take a look at her teddy bear ears because you know she has them because she's a chambray girl. <laughs> let me know if this video helps you guys whatsoever um as far as identifying your dolls and things like that let me know how helpful this is as well i'm just really curious to know if this is helpful to you guys at all i might do a poll or something like that if i have the capability to i'm gonna look into it but just let me know if you know you find this helpful in any way you see, they're the same, the, the bulb in the nose. And then like the little nostrils are smaller than the bulb. You can tell because their little Cupid's bow, you know, the little area right there is, you know, it's very easily to be seen on the face. But that bulb is what gives it away, I think, for the most part. The bulb and the teddy bear ears and this little jawline thingy right here. And if you turn the doll to the side, let me actually get a different doll. Let me get Zara up here. All of them have it, so you kind of just have to pay attention to it. When you turn the doll to the side, 
it's like it goes like in a little little chevron shape the shadow turns into a chevron shape for her cheek i'm going to show you almost all of them do it you see it you see the little line that gets created right here that'll probably help you figure out if you have miss chambray slash alec face mold and then her little nose turns up right there and then the teddy bear ear it's a really small ear i don't know if that's what other people call it but that's what i call it but see you see that like the little the little curve right there that goes from her eye down to the crease of where her um the corner of her mouth goes all of them have it so if you're ever wondering i know you can't really I mean, you may be able to turn a box in the store or something like that to try to determine a face mold. But if you already have the doll and you want to know if it's like the Alec face mold, you can do it that way. Let me get this doll and see if she has the same thing. This is a Daya face mold. Let's see if she does it. Well, she kind of does it too. But the difference is the nose doesn't turn up. You see what I'm saying? And then if you look at this one, the nose turns up. You see it? See how the nose turns up and it's a wider smile. And see, she doesn't have teddy bear ears. She has bigger ears, the day of face mold. Let me see about this doll that we just got here. They might all do that little facial line thingy, but yeah, even her. See, her nose turns up and she kind of has that little line, but look at her ears. Her ears are way bigger. Her ear is bigger, you know? And I think that's how you'll be able to tell. Her nose turns her nose turns up a lot more. Even like the bridge of her nose is more inset into her face. So their nose is not going to look the same. You see? It's just different. It's not the same. So you can look up a different like different factors on a doll's face. And you can tell that, you you know, once you start eliminating factors and things, you can be able to tell about a face mold a lot better. Let me use Shine here, my mini me. Okay, so she has a line too, but as you see, her nose does not turn up. You see what I mean? Her nose does not turn up. Her ears are bigger. She has a more prominent chin. Her forehead, I think, is, yeah, way bigger. <laughs> and she does kind of have a bulby nose, but not, see, it's not shaped exactly the same. Even the Cupid's bow on my mini-me is less prominent than it is on the chambray face mold. You know? And then you can look at the ears if you want to. Let's see if I can get these ears compared. teddy bear ear big ear <laughs> teddy bear ear right here and big ear right here see how you can start eliminating different um factors or variables about a doll's face different features you can eliminate or you can or you'll see that it's different so that you can determine which face fault face mold that you're looking at And this is a Barbie Dreamtopia doll. Dreamtopia be, be killing the game sometimes with the face molds. I'm just saying. But these are the same face molds. The Sean Bray face mold slash Alec. I don't know where the Alec thing comes from. But definitely the Sean Bray part of the face mold name is because this doll was the first doll to have the face mold. And her characters, her fashionista theme was Chic and Sean Bray. And so that's how it got the name Sean Bray. So just in case you want to know that bit of information right there, and it's Fashionista 22. Zara is a Barbie um, Dreamtopia mermaid doll that came out uh, probably about two or three years ago. Not sure, probably two years ago. But um, this is the doll that started it all right here. <laughs> She's super cute. I'm glad to have all these different type of dolls that have the same face mold. 
in my collection i'm probably have more somewhere i know i have a couple of like basic barbies that have this face mold in storage somewhere but <laughs> since i have a good mixture of diversity for these uh dolls i have three fair skin tones and then i have a lot of warm skin tones in between and a very chocolatey skin tone that i just acquired not that long ago so i'm happy with the representation in this video let me know if you agree with um the face molds or if you have any suggestions about the face molds please put them below let me know if you like this content if it's helping you um that means the world to me to let me know that i'm helping you guys the way that i am with these face molds because you know, I like looking at them all day. So <laughs> I can sit and look at them all day long. Like a, just a book full of like face mold pictures. I can look at that stuff all day long. If you want a resource about face molds, um, the Dalai Lama on Instagram, the Dalai Lama, I'll put it up here. Um, she does a lot of face mold comparisons side by sides. Of different face molds she's actually a guru herself you guys check her out on instagram i don't think she's on youtube but check her out on instagram she's um insanely popular there um very good content um that she does so you guys give go check her out and look at her face molds if ever you need face mold information <laughs> Thank you guys for dipping in the Dollmosphere with me. This was a longer video, I know. I still, um, I'm just now starting to put um, uploading videos of where I asked you guys how you like the time frame of my videos. So you can continue, let me know the feedback for that down below in the comments section, or you can hit me up on, uh, put, um, hit me up on Twitter at Dolls Queendom. I'm there a lot. There's not a lot of doll folk. Please, doll folk, make the migration over to Twitter. Um, it's, you know, it's just funner there than Instagram sometimes. Y'all can hit me up on Instagram at Sunshine Queendom Dolls, or you can always just leave the comment below here, and I'm just as well there. The Dolly Tribe is strong, y'all. So keep it going. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um... Thank you for dipping in the dolphin atmosphere with me. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be well, stay safe, and do not forget to keep that sunshine in your life. <laughs> I'm so silly, y'all. I'm gonna go. I can tell I'm getting tired. Love y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.